Hello everybody, welcome back to another Jurassic World Dominion review. Today we have the Ferocious Pack Miragaya. So as you guys can tell, it's pretty much just the same old packaging. Um, nothing really different about this guy. Um, but I do want to tell you guys something. This guy is really cool. When I first saw him, I just had to get him. He was just so cool. And I could not pass this one up. For some reason, I just really, really like this figure. So let's get him unboxed. So here we have the Ferocious Pack Miragaya out of its box. And let's get into some detail with this guy. So as we can tell, he's kind of like a blackish with mixed with grays and blacks and a little bit of some kind of like a, uh, a yellowish whitish color. Um, let's see. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Uh, my video just stopped recording itself. But anyways, let's take a look at its neck and around that area. So one thing about this guy is his neck is very long for some reason. I don't know why, but he looks like he just has a stiff neck. Let's look um, over here at the mouth. The mouth actually opens very large. None of the other Stegosaurid... Um, None of the other stegosaur dinosaurs have this feature, and only the herbivores that are like Brachiosaurus, Apatosaurus, and Dreadnoughtus only have this ability. Now, I think there might be a couple more that I am missing, and if I am, just please let me know in the comments. But those are the only ones that I could really honestly think of, and can't really think of any other kind, but, um, I'm trying to think. I think it's only the sauropods that actually have that feature. I don't know, though. But anyways, let's get into some review. Um, so here we have the Ferocious Pack Miragaya. As we can tell, this is a stegosaurid creature. So let's look at him at this way. So here we have the Miragaya. As we can tell, it has some spikes going out of its shoulder plates, and they kind of go like in an upwards, um, kind of like an upwards um, position. And then we have a lot of um, spikes going down the back, so it starts at like plates, and then it transforms into spikes, which is really neat. You can't pose the legs in and out, but you can pose the legs up or down. You can do all kinds of sorts of things. Um, and yeah, so here is the Mira Gaia guys, and uh, that is really cool. I kind of wish that they would have painted these spikes like a black color or any kind of color would have worked, but um, I guess they just didn't really care to do that because they never really paint the tails anyway, so why would they do it on this figure? But it is really, really interesting that they actually gave it a mouth with a posable jaw like that. I did not expect to see that. That is very, very unique. But uh, let's get that scan code, because I know you guys really like the scan codes, and I just wanted to show you guys this scan code. I might have to scan this dinosaur myself. He is just super cool, and I would love to see him in the Jurassic World Dominion Facts app app. So... When I say app, app, that doesn't make any sense. Jurassic World Dominion Facts app, not Jurassic World Dominion Facts app, app. That just doesn't make any sense. Sorry, guys, about that. Oh, gosh, I'm kind of tired today, but anyways, there is the scan code. If you guys didn't get that to work, just leave down in the comments, and I'll make a separate video for that. So let's put the Miragaya next to a human figure. So here we have a Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom mercenary figure next to the Miragaya. So as you guys can see that the Miragaya is actually quite small. Now will this guy be re, uh, will this guy be appearing in Dominion? I honestly don't know, but I'm sure that it's very likely because it is the first wave of Dominion toys. If it is the first wave of Dominion toys, it's most likely going to be in the movie cuz, you know. Let's get the Morris Intrepidus over here and then put it next to the Mirror Gaia. So here we have the Morris Intrepidus. As we can tell, that this is a very small dinosaur. Like I've already said, 
Uh, the Mirror Gaia in real life is probably bigger than this, but we could call it a juvenile for now. But, uh, yeah, this is really cool, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Um, share with your friends. Share this video with people that you know, family, um, anything like that. Um, please make sure to like and subscribe. This is Jurassic Tyler, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.